What's going on guys? It's Eli from Common Sense here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look into one of my new favorite fall fragrances. This has existed for a while and it's definitely one that is really close to my heart and I really think that you guys will enjoy this. So if you've seen my last video, you've noticed that I covered two Mont Blanc fragrances. Now I really like the House of Mont Blanc because they have excellent clones or interpretations of original, more expensive niche or other designer fragrances at a fraction of the cost. Now, the one that I'm going to be reviewing today is Mont Blanc Legend. So Mont Blanc Legend is a clone and interpretation of Amber Crabbe and Fitch's Fierce for Men. At first smell, this smells just like a shopping mall. And this is just what also draws me to this scent. This is the stuff that they're pumping into the vents as you walk by some of the designer stores. It reminds me of, you know, really good times of just walking around with friends, the Black Friday and just kind of Thanksgiving and Christmas time but you can definitely wear this when it's still a little bit warm outside as it's transitioning into full-on fall. <sighs> Man. So Mont Blanc Legend was created by Oliver Pachot, and he wanted something that was striking, masculine, but also familiar, embracing tradition. And so I believe that's exactly what he did with this fragrance. This one was made back in 2011, so this is definitely not a new fragrance. It's been around for quite a while, almost a decade, but it is still a fantastic performer. It is a fantastic overall fragrance. So this fragrance opens up with a very soft and sweet lavender, as well as some of the most amazing dried fruits that you can smell. Think of maybe dried apricots, maybe tiny little bit of plum, but mostly you're getting some apple as well as pineapple in this as well. And it is a very nice, sweet and kind of woody smell to it that makes it perfect for everyday wear. You can wear this as a signature scent or you could just wear this anytime that you're going to want to smell nice. Again, this is super mass pleasing and it is definitely masculine. Whenever I think of men's fragrances and men's colognes, I think of this because, you know, you're walking by the Amber Crombie and Fitch in your shopping mall and you see those posters and you see everything, all of the mannequins. That image comes to mind whenever you smell this fragrance. Yes, it's definitely masculine. It's long lasting. It lasts on me a good six to eight hours. Now, it's not super strong after the first maybe two hours or so. It's really strong at the very beginning. You know, I usually do two sprays underneath my shirt, not on the outside. I go underneath because at the very beginning it is pretty strong. After about 30 minutes to an hour, it definitely calms down. When you pass by somebody, the sillage and the scent trail behind you is going to be kind of intriguing. Somebody will pick it up and they will probably be thinking, hey, that guy was just at the mall or he has a fragrance that smells just like it. They may think that you have first instinct, but in reality, you might have Mont Blanc Legend, which is a fraction of the price. So I paid a little bit much for this one. I believe I bought this about a year ago for $25 at my local rack store. This particular fragrance I got in a one ounce. So you can definitely find this online for a lot cheaper. Again, I just paid 25 bucks for the one ounce because I saw it there and I wanted to get it. I didn't really care and I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I think I'm gonna go out and buy the 100 ml version of this bottle because I've been wearing this almost every single day for the past like week. And so it's definitely a wonderful smell that I think you guys will enjoy in particular. I've got a handful of compliments on this one. I haven't worn it too much, but I have worn it mostly in the fall. And so I do think that this is a fantastic fragrance that's going to tie you over until some of the more cold weather starts and you're gonna wanna break out some of the more heavy black and darker fragrances. But until then, this is a solid buy and I highly recommend that you pick this one out. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you really enjoy this fragrance or if you find another one that's really similar to this one or that you like a little bit more. This was kind of a side video that I wanted to film because I realized that in the last video, I did not cover this one. I already had chosen five fall fragrances that I think you guys would enjoy. But for this one, I wanted to dedicate a special video to this because this is a wonderful fragrance that I know you guys will enjoy and get compliments. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. My name's Eli and this has been Common Sense. I'll see you guys next time.